Shalom, brothers and sisters. So if you haven't heard this, this will be very interesting news for you. Uh, Tony Blair used to be in leadership in the UK. Look him up. He's working with the WEF, World Economic Forum, and Bill Gates to make digital IDs mandatory to live a normal life around the world. Now, in 2020, Tony Blair called for governments around the world to give each resident a digital identity to enable them to resume normal life, to ensure retraining of citizens to promote economic recovery. Right, so that was 2020 and he spearheaded this thing. In 2023, Sir Tony Blair and Lord Haig have called for everyone in the UK to get digital ID cards as part of a technological revolution. Now we're gonna make it sound exciting. In a world in which everything from vaccine status to airplane tickets and banking details are available on our personal devices, it is illogical that the same is not true of our individual public records, they write. They suggest such a scheme would allow people to prove their identity, their age, their driving license, their right to live and work in the UK, and even their educational qualifications. <laughs> But Serki Carlo, director of campaign group Big Brother Watch, said that the sprawling digital identity system proposed by the pair would be one of the biggest assaults on privacy ever seen in the UK. What they don't realize is this is the plan of the beast system, and Tony Blair was obviously given this project by Antichrist to run with, and he's doing all he can to push this everywhere. Now, okay, why am I touching on that just so briefly? Because now... It ties into the country that will be in the spotlight in the seven-year tribulation. Israel, seeking to appoint UK's Tony Blair as Gaza humanitarian coordinator. Now, in Israel, we've spoken about the fact that they want to put the biggest AI right there in Jerusalem in Israel. Why? Because that's where the Antichrist needs it, and he tells them where to build stuff. Duh. Right there. So they want to be the AI hub for the world. And they're working on that, and that's happening with NVIDIA. Check that video out. Go dig into it a little bit deeper. It's really interesting. So they've got that happening, and now they want to bring in the guy who's spearheading digital ID around the world and working with these organizations, WEF and all of these kind of people, to make it happen. And he's going to come in here, in this whole focus of the entire planet, and work with the situation. The Israel Times has reported that Israel is seeking to install former British Prime Minister Tony Blair as humanitarian coordinator for the Gaza Strip, according to a report out of a desire to improve the humanitarian situation inside the Palestinian enclave and reduce international pressure as it continues to wage its war against Hamas. Blair's office said in a statement to Ynet that Mr. Blair maintains an office in Israel. Isn't that interesting? And he continues to work on matters tied to Israel and the Palestinians. It's interesting, too, that uh, other people from the Trump administration days, like his son-in-law, also maintain offices in Israel. Interesting, right? Understandably, he has conversations with people in the region and other places in order to see what can be done. But he was not given or offered the role. However... The report also indicated that Blair has been contacted on this matter and talks have been ongoing in recent weeks. The former British leader's office told Ynet in response he has not been given or offered a position, but did not deny any contact. So they are in talks about setting this up. The digital global digital ID guy inside Gaza. All the pawns and players are coming together. All of them seem to have offices in Israel. He's not the Prime Minister anymore of the UK, yet he has his offices in Israel. Interesting. Very. Same with uh, Trump's son-in-law. Interesting. I think if we really start digging into who has offices in Jerusalem, we'll probably fall over backwards. Because we'll see how all the important players, the aides, the inner circle, the people Antichrist needs around him when he rules, are all already setting up, preparing, buying new carpets, setting up air conditioners and doing what they need to do to prep for when his reign begins.
Does that worry us? No, it's fun to watch the losing team because we're still snatching souls out of darkness with the Holy Spirit's might while we can and sharing Jesus Christ to as many as we can. But it's interesting to watch. God bless, keep looking up. My identity is and will always remain in Jesus Christ. Shalom.